Jim. And welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. Today, we will be reacting to... The tornado scene in the Wizard of Oz movie. Throwing it way back to the 1940s, 30s, whenever this movie came out. I think it was 1939, It was roughly. a long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. This was back before they had color television. That's right. The thing is, is that for it being way back then, it was really impressive with how they actually did it compared to movies nowadays that, yeah. you know, they, they do look a little bit artificial, but back then, I mean, for the technology back then, it looks yeah. very realistic. Spoiler alert, I already watched this clip. We're gonna be reacting to it. I already watched it, but I'm already way more impressed with this clip <laughs> than certain movies. Uh, cue the playlist of <laughs> Meteorologist Reacts. <laughs> yes, so. we can probably put some <laughs> links below to our other Meteorologist Reacts videos for other weather scenes that have tornadoes in them that... Eh. We're severely lacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll look at this and you'll go, okay, I'm much more impressed with this. <laughs> I feel like we make fun of, okay, we just gotta say it, Into the Storm. I feel like we make fun of Into the Storm in every video now because of how bad it was. It set the new low bar, really. <laughs> oh my gosh, a mouse could walk over that bar. Here we go, we are reacting to Wizard of Oz. There's wind. That's a good sign. There's, there's clouds. There's clouds. There's actually dark clouds. <laughs> there's dark clouds. There's wind. Something's happening. Yeah, look at that. Oh! Let's pause it right there. Let's just wait. Right there. Let's examine this. We have dark clouds. <laughs> Not only do we have dark clouds, we have a lowering in the dark clouds. That's right. Which is accurate! So it is a structurally accurate looking storm. I'm blown away already. <laughs> We're 23 seconds in. Do you think they might have had a little experience with how tornadoes may have looked in Kansas when they made this I movie? I think somebody had an inkling as to how they were actually supposed to look. <laughs> because this is how they're supposed to look. And look at that. It's kind of like a little elephant trunk kind of mm -hmm. thing going on. It's not just, you know, that wedge that destroys the entire world like every other movie has. It's the six-mile like, wedge. Yeah! The six <laughs> like, all you can see is the tornado. <laughs> You got the We've sound got of the wind in the background. There's dust being kicked up. Things are moving. There's still clouds in the background. Yeah. It's a twister. It's a twister. And hang on, one more thing. Is that these people are actually sensible enough to try to take cover. Like they're actually trying to like save everybody and go inside and stuff. You mean he didn't go grab his camera? run to the end of the field and stand there in the midst of all this and when he was afraid for the whole hour worth before <laughs> even though it's the beginning of the movie and we're not making reference to any other movie that we've reacted to right <laughs> look at that there's a debris cloud there's all that lowering like, look at that. Let's pause it there for a second. Look, at it's kicking up the dirt like exactly how it would in real life. It's not like the entire field isn't gone. This isn't a, an EF5. It's a little, it probably looks to me like maybe a, a two or a three, probably at this point. And it's kicking up dirt and it's causing debris and stuff. And you've got the lowering of the clouds. It looks like there's some rain in the background. I mean, this is fantastic. <laughs> they did a great job. Yeah, they did. They did. I'm, I'm very impressed. One thing with this, um, with this though, let's address the fact that it's not raining where they are. Right. And depending on the side of the storm, it might not be. This is actually really plausible. It doesn't have to be raining everywhere. Because, yep. I mean, if you're looking at a storm, you have the rain is to the, which direction is it mostly? It's Off to the north, north and northeast. Something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, if they're in any other direction besides that, then it's not going to be raining. And yep. you'll get this crystal clear picture of the tornado. And this is actually like where you want to be as a storm chaser um, to take those, you know, great pictures that you see all over Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So, 10 out of 10 so far. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now it is a bit windy for how far away the tornado is. Yes. It's a bit windy. But you can see it getting closer and closer. Now look at that. Does it even... Is it even getting a little rain wrapped? It is it kind of... A lot of dust and <clears throat> possible rain wrap there. Yeah. The wind is actually coming out of the correct direction to try yeah. to go around it. Look at the wind is blowing this way. The tornado is moving this way. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yep. I, I think there was a couple of scenes earlier where the wind looked in, in a different direction, but with the tornado being far enough away, it's possible it's that possible. the wind was going in a different direction because if there was buildings or something that was there, sometimes wind gets turned around a little bit. But, you know, at least in this scene, it's going in the right direction. Yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> so far, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Okay, so it actually shows that the wind is blowing. She's having a hard time opening the fence, opening up a door. They're having a hard time getting the uh, storm shelter doors open. So very plausible versus an EF5 sitting right outside of a white van with a radar dish on top of it that's just casually knocked just over. Casually. And, you know. and you got... 10 people standing around it trying to get out and running across, you know, a field with a fiery... With a fire NATO. EF3 tornado right there, tossing <laughs> automobiles around. You know, uh, I'd say this is definitely plausible. You yeah. know, it's, uh, it shows the struggle against the wind versus, you know, uh, a similar tornado being literally five feet away and there's not much struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the acting. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Getting closer. It's snaking its way mm -hmm. over. You can see the debris is picking up also. I have to say that is a very well constructed house that it stays completely intact. <laughs> of course, tying down to the foundation, that's got something to be desired. <laughs> I would fire that contractor, but whoever built the house did a great job. She's knitting. <laughs> Just another day in Kansas. <laughs> if you're from Kansas, let us know if you would knit in the middle of a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> People rowing. <laughs> That's more like Florida during a hurricane, not Kansas during a tornado. He tips his hat, they're even polite in the middle of a tornado. <laughs> Maybe they're Canadian. <laughs> Did you notice they're on the outside of the tornado, not in the eye of the tornado? That's right. And they're actually, the house got pushed out of the funnel mm -hmm. and is now beginning its descent, yeah. which is consistent. What debris does. Yeah, I mean, you don't get sucked up into the eye of a tornado because there is no eye of a tornado and you don't just spin there indefinitely. You get sucked up and tossed out and... That's right. Wow. And boy, that's a testimony to 1939 housing construction versus today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's examine the, uh, the sticking points here, right? In terms of uh, reality, uh, comparable to you know what we would experience being out in the field uh, yeah. how realistic was the the tornado the cloud structure the wind environment you know the whole weather element in that how, yeah. how realistic on a scale of one to ten I mean, 9.5 I mean I'm sure there were nitpicky things that if we go back and look at it we'd probably be like oh the wall cloud wasn't as well formed as it should have been yada 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 but I mean for a movie I mean that's as, about as realistic as you can get it without taking actual footage from the field and sticking it into a Hollywood film. I mean, this is uh, as close to reality as you can get, in my opinion. That's right. You know, back then there wasn't a whole lot of video footage of tornadoes, right. a lot of photographs, possibly, but 
you know, nothing video per se other than nothing I, 4K I or accounts. anything like we have right. today where you can examine every single detail. I mean, this is just like eyewitness yeah. accounts and maybe some black and white photos, but yeah, people yeah. didn't have, you know, iPhones back then. They didn't even have Super 8 movie cameras or things back then. Right. You know, it, this was before that time and yeah. it was mostly just you know, people's experiences. I think they did a tremendous job. Yeah, that. and um, throwing in some historical facts for you, this was before we even had televised broadcast. Mm -hmm. This was before the word tornado was even legal to use in like meteorological forecasts and stuff like that right. because it instilled so much terror in people mm -hmm. that we weren't allowed to use it as meteorologists. Yeah. So I mean this was back before all of that, back before the modern era of storm chasing and meteorology and tornado forecasting. Yeah exactly, I was just gonna say, um, you know, storm chasing really started gaining ground in the 70s and, and the 80s yeah. um, with Dr. Howard Bluestein and, and a lot of Oklahoma University yeah. uh, you know, research going on there and, and associated government entities with them. Um, so, you know, this was Way like 40, you know, 30, 40 years before yeah. that. Um, so it's not like they even had research back then like right. we do now yeah. to come up and, and paint a storyboard in a picture yeah. that would be very similar to what you'd see out in the field. Right. So this has to be just somebody's eyewitness account of a tornado and then they put it into a movie. Right. There's nothing to go on. Which is, you know, kind of sad for today's movies where we have all of this research and it's like the age of storm chasing and it's like we end up with Geostorm. <laughs> A lot of CGI stuff and... It's not realistic at all, but I mean here, back before tornado was even a legal word to use, we had the most realistic depiction yeah. of a tornado in a Hollywood film. You know, in terms of the accuracy, yeah, definitely a 9.5 out of 10. There's always yeah. room for improvement. There's always but room for improvement. This, but this definitely set the bar for yeah. these kind of movies. And I think this even may have passed Twister in accuracy. Uh, this is... Pretty yeah. darn close to perfection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say there was a lot of scenes in Twister that had a lot of similarities to the storm yeah. structure here. They yeah. kind of they kind of pulled a page out of that playbook. So how about entertainment value? Entertainment value? I mean, hey, if it's accurate, it's a ten in entertainment <laughs> value for me. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. great to see something actually accurately represented on you know the big screen. So it definitely set the bar. Definitely. Um, especially, I mean, man, for, for the late 30s, wow, what a bar to set. Especially with not much research being done yeah. at the time, not much uh, footage being available at the time. They did an amazing job. Incredible job. A plus. So there you have it, meteorologists react to the beginning of The Wizard of Oz. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. That's right, and go ahead and leave us some comments. We'll go ahead and put a link below in the description to this video and then you guys can see this clip and let us know your reaction to it as well. Yeah. Link below also is our Patreon account if you guys like our videos and want to support what we're doing and help us out so we can make more videos like this and go on more storm chases or hurricane chases as we're now entering hurricane season. Definitely check out that link and consider donating. And if you want to see more of our weather adventures, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy. Today, we will be reacting to the, oh my god, I keep thinking Twister. We Why does will I keep not doing be that? reacting to the oh my god. <laughs>